Um, also, another big fight. I I, I got to slow it down when I say big fights, but a good fight. You know, uh, Benavides and Bubu Andres. They, they, they're in talks for November. Um, okay. What do you think about that fight? Uh, I think that's a good fight for Benavidez, man. Like, it's, uh, you know, because Boo Boo is, you know, he's getting older, but he's still, I think he's undefeated, right? Still undefeated. And, yeah, I mean, it's, I think it's a, it's a, it's a real good fight for, um, Benavidez. You know, he's young, he's coming up and stuff like that. And, um, it's going to be a tough style to get over. But I, I still think, I would, I would give the edge to him just because he's a little younger and Benavidez is a mom. He's a beast. But um, Andre, you know, Boo Boo is still, he's still Boo Boo. He's still got that really, really awkward style. And it's going to be hard to, it's going to be hard to deal with. But I think, you know, uh, Benavidez should put it out. Yeah. Um, you know, by, you think, by KO, like getting them out of there type of a deal? Uh, I won't say that. No, I can't, I can't say KO. I mean, obviously it could it could be a KO, and it, you know, with Benavidez because he has so much power and he's quick too. But um, I don't know. I just, I just, you know, I just think that um, Benavidez should be able to edge it out. Right, right. Um, and then, in the same time, you know, um, it, you know, when we talk about you and what do you do, like you know, for a hobby outside of boxing, uh, what would you like to, you know, do as far as after boxing is done? you know, um, maybe a business, uh, maybe investments, like what is, you know, next for Regis Progress after boxing? Uh, I can't even think about that. I mean, well, I tell you, I got, I always got investments going on, bro. Cause one thing in boxing, you just don't know when you like, literally you never know when your last fight going to be. So I always, I've been investing since I actually started making money. So I got a bunch of houses, more stuff um out in New Orleans and stuff like that. I live in Texas, but most of my stuff is out in New Orleans and stuff like that. And I got financial advisors, all that, but that's on, you know, that's on the, the financial side. But as far as what I'm going to do after boxing, I can't even think of that right now, man, because I, um, I feel like I'm in it for a while, bro. Like, I'm, I just still love the sport. I got so much motivation. I still just, I love the sport so much, bro. I just, you know, for me, I just want to be the best and just keep improving. And, you know, it's hard for me to think about, like, after boxing. Like, while I'm in boxing, I'm going to do a lot of stuff while I'm in boxing because, you know, um, we just – we got a lot of things going, bro. I just, you know, doing the, my promotional company papers sitting right in front of my face right now. I'm doing all that stuff, um, signing fighters, um, doing that. You know, like I said, the real estate business, we doing all that while I'm inside of boxing. But as far as outside, um, after, I can't even think of that, bro, because I feel like I'm going to be in this – I'm going to be in it for – uh, a few more years for sure right right and like when we talk about i mean last time i spoke to you about you you know where your ceiling lies when it comes down to divisions um you said that you wanted to be the marvin Hagler of the 140 um and then in the same time i think this is a big to talk about because you know you put on a video uh about you know you're in the bathtub talking about things that people don't know that has to do with boxing in the training camp, making weight, you know, feel free to share with us, you know, upon those type of moments that you guys go through. Yeah. I mean, people don't realize, bro, like everybody think like they just see the finished product. You see the fight night product. That's all. But you don't know what we have to go through. And I, I mean, most of the time I try now, I don't look at like comments, but sometimes people send me something and it's like people saying, why would boxers do that? They should stop doing that, bro. Every fighter does the same thing. I just showed what I did. And really, that weight cut, honestly, was one of my easiest weight cuts. Like, people don't realize that that weight cut was actually, it wasn't even really that hard to do it. Obviously, the, the weight is always going to be an issue. It's always going to be it's always gonna be tough to lose weight, right? Because usually I lose, you know, um, maybe like 20, 25 pounds from what I am right now. You know, and I, I barely have fat on my body right now. So just imagine. So it's still always going to be tough, but it's getting right now. It's just getting easier and easier and easier. And that weight cut, the one I showed was actually, it wasn't even that hard, bro. That's the thing. People think it's way harder and stuff. Yeah, because I was leaning over the tub and stuff like that. But they, didn't, they wasn't there the whole time. I showed you a, a minute video or something like that, you know. So, um, but it's just it's just what we got to go through. It's, it's what fighters got to go through. Everybody want to criticize fighters. People get online and the internet, they criticize this fighter, this fighter, this fighter. But they literally don't know what we have to go through to do this, to even get that, to entertain y'all and to do this. Like, 
it's, it's a lot, bro. It's a lot that goes into this. And that's just – that was the night before the weigh-in. We're not even talking about the training camp that stretched out three months or two or three months before a fight. You know, it's it's a lot.